Previously last week on Cuck Die, Adrian marched up to Strahd's bedroom and kicked the door in. So, so we're kind of fighting Strahd now. Uh, Rahadin uh, went kind of like right after and closed the door between the two groups, splitting the party in half. And we now rejoin the heroes mid-combat. I don't remember whose turn it is. You're right. We should re-roll some initiative, please. He was the, uh... You can just check chat. I have the initiative. However, since it's just, uh, the people here, we should probably re-go. Oh, re-go! Lego, my Rigo. You can use the uh, turn order. It's a clock in your bar thing. Click on that and it will keep track for you. It's pretty nice. What are you telling that to? Um, DM. Are you going to have to talk slow? Remember, your, your okay. DM's. I had a lot of lead poisoning. Near toxic okay. levels of lead poisoning, so r real slow, please. Sounds pretty fun. Okay, so. On the left of your screen, there's a bar. There should be a clock. You're going to click on said clock. Okay, I don't want to cl I don't know what the clock is. Okay, thank you. Now click on it. All right, all right, I cut the red wire. Oh my God, the timer's, it's counting down faster. But what did you make me do? Oh, no. what, 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 what? Two of us already in there. So now, um, whenever you go to roll initiative, click on your token first. Okay, he cleared it. <laughs> Why aren't you? Why you aren't you following really my that. instructions? I'm sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't use that, it's really nice. Yes. <laughs> yep. Now, um, the monk, you're gonna click on your token, then go to your sheet and click no, and the initiative. Roll for initiative. Okay. I'm just saying, yeah, just make sure you click on your token. And yeah, That's a lot of dice. Yeah, we roll an initiative for... Everything. <laughs> yep, yep, everything. Okay, a lot of things. Yeah, that's distinctly more things that are what I remember. Yes, very much so. Why is there so many things? Uh, DM, you, there should be a little cog wheel down there at the bottom of the tone order sheet. Okay. Uh-huh. Now you're going to click on that and then up to be something along the lines of sort by descending. You're going to click on that. There you go. Wow. And you know now what? there should be a little green button towards the bottom, which will pass the tone. You kids these days, I swear, with your TikToks and your gizmos, I'm sure a drone's on its way at, at this very moment to me. Uh, 
Okay. And then you can also add the enemies to the tone order by doing the same thing. You click on the token, you go to the sheet, then click the initiative button. Got everything. Oh, uh, naturally, the monk is quick on the draw. What are you doing, why? Uh, I'm still outside. Right, so... You are currently in the study, a beautiful library with a roaring fireplace that you kind of just step through, and in front of you is this vampire-looking dude who just let out a really awful screech and, uh... Did we currently... restart the entire combat? Yeah, yeah, combat started, and, uh, we kind of just dropped saying, in the middle of it. Do, and that's what I'm saying, are we continuing from last time? So does he still have that damage, or are we completely restarting? He still has that damage. No. Right. Then I'll just keep going. Ow! Ow, oh, that really hurts him. Fifteen misses. I'll stunning strike that last hit. 20 hits, so the 27 hits, and he'll take that 14. And then the 15 misses. So I'm reading this correctly. It's not the 15 plus 9 for the 21, right? Or are you getting that what plus... You, are you what getting are you that plus about? 9? Or? You said 21. I don't know where that came from. So I'm looking at your second monk unarmed strike for 15, and I'm trying to figure out if that plus nine bonus is uh, for advantage or not, or if that is just a it's just a flat 15, right? The advantage will be the 21. I don't have advantage on. All right, so I'm reading that correctly. So that one misses, and then the second one hits. Yeah, and that's the uh, much call it stunning strike. How are you getting 12 in uh, fire damage at a, a 6 from uh, the... You know what? It's monk shit. I'm not going to question it. No, the fire, fire... No, no, no. The fire... Uh, that's the flame tongue. That's just because I had the sword. Modifier's still on. Ignore that. Okay, thank you. I don't know what you're just assuming So the first one shit. is a 14. Yeah, because of the fire... It's a flaming sword. So I have that modifier for it. Instead of rolling an extra 2d6 every time by hand. So uh, it's just a six for the last hit. Fourteen save on your the thingy strike. The new. Oh no! Six, immediate fifteen or sixteen. I can check. Check this motherfucker's right. stat block. Con save. Oh, he's got a plus three for a uh, seventeen total. I assume that does. I could be wrong. It's close, but he grits his teeth through the stunning strike. Uh, anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, agile parry, so I get the plus two AC. All right, understood. What does that bring your AC to? Uh, 22, 21, uh, 19, 21. Yeah, 21. All right, uh, you guys hear some flat 
You guys hear some thumping in the bedroom from behind that door. Probably about as far as he get. Then who rolled a 20? I believe that was uh, Whiskers over here. Yes. There should be an ALO towards the bottom right of the turn order. Just click on that. There you go. Yep. Uh, the dog is going to attack the vampire in front of it. 26 to hit. Hits the shit out of him. Uh, seven force damage. All right. Uh, that is its turn. Then on my turn, um, I'm going to make two longsword attacks against him. Uh, 28 and 27 to hit. Both hit. So that's uh, 13 and 14 slashing damage. So, 27 slashing damage total. That is magical. Alright, I got both of them. Okay. Um, that is resistance. my turn. Alright. And as you were thinking to yourself, wow, that's a lot of initiative uh, that DM rolled there. You hear around you. <laughs> you look around and you hear glass breaking and busting through the doors. Oh god, it's a bunch of wolves. And they're not just any wolves. They're dire wolves. And they tear through all the fucking doors, rip them open, and then they start jumping on top of you guys. Are these great clouds of the Darwolves? Hey, yeah, well, I didn't think their, uh, their, their character tokens were particularly that good either. Does an 18 hit you, um, why? AC is 20 on right now. Okay, yep, so the uh, wolf tries to bite at you and just kind of grabs your cloak and is pulling at your cloak a little bit. Um, I don't got a cloak. Kind of monk style. Mm, okay. And then uh, 15 at both uh, the Iron Defender, uh, A at uh, you, and then at the pup. Neither <laughs> hit. Yep, so the wolf oh, is kind of like... It hits, the, it hits the Defender, actually. Oh, wow, okay. So how much damage is that on the wolf? I mean, my Defender. Oh, these are plus five to hit. That would only make a difference for the Y. It would a 23 hit you. So the wolves did yeah. manage to bite your foot. And then 18 on the other one for the, the pup. Does an 18 hit him? Yes. All right. So the 15 does as well. One. one wolf gets each of you. So why you'll take seven damage? As Wolf Terror into your ass. Oh shit! Uh, a you'll go ahead and take fourteen damage. My wolf will take fourteen. And then the Iron Defender will take fifteen. Uh, does the did the Iron Defender get hit twice? I didn't get hit. Oh, okay, then ignore that. Okay, so fifteen for my Defender. That'll be it for the wolves going back up to the top. Why your turn? Is that 
Correct. 15 damage for my defender. Um, go ahead and take 14. I believe it was an 11 okay. gold plus 3. Okay. Back up to the top of the initiative order. I'll go ahead and shrink these fur balls down. Nay, 22, yes. 26, yes. All right. Uh, stunning strike on these two sword heads. Well, technically up three. So. Oh, no. Does it 10? Oh, no. And does not save. Do I have a legendary resistance to bitch my way out of this? I don't. Fuck. Stunned. Sweet. God, right before his fucking turn, too. All right, he takes uh, more than 29 damage. Jesus. Just to be clear, everybody still has the damage from last time, right? Uh, yeah, he still had his damage from previously, the 39 that you did in the previous session. Alright, so I still have the, uh, damage he did to me, I think. Did he? Do you know why I had low health? Or was that from before? I was not keeping track of that, to be perfectly honest. I'll just assume I got hit. Run. I don't know when that would have happened. Uh, you know you guys haven't gotten any serious fights since you got here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, uh, I'm at 50-something health, 59. And then, uh, I got attacked. I have, I took down another 7, so I'm like 52 health right now. But the only thing I remember is the uh, the mist, which I'm immune to. That's it. I like the poison. Well, I'll go ahead and start from last week's episode, and I'll start working my way back, and uh, I'll figure it out, man. I'll get to the bottom of this, I swear to God. Figure out where those hit points went. Yo, honestly, I can look through, like, three channels and just see... I think I, I can look through like three channels and just see people making fun of Wookie. Well, that that it's not very nice of those people. I don't know why you gotta point that out either. Like if you go to schedule, it's just why saying you suck. Yeah, that's weird. I don't remember Manwater in this session. Did, did Manwater just start <laughs> playing all of a sudden? Well, he, what's going on? Dank memes. You can just see what Wookie did as a kid. Dare this guy right. just drop in? How dare I show up to a campaign that was supposed to be in? Preposterous. Preposterous. Very I much so. A Why are you so. foul like... creature? Why? Why does your voice sound different? <laughs> That's not me. Oh, there's there's different people. Yeah. This is gross. Was I replaced, Wookie? Is that what happened here? Almost definitely. We needed yeah. someone who yeah. was twice as sexy and half the price. Well, I don't know what you, I, I don't know why you were looking on this server, but... Hey! Are we live yet? No. We have been. Oh, I'm gonna leave. I think. Yeah, yeah. Haha, <laughs> you guys have zero views on Twitch. <laughs> zero views <laughs> wow, on Twitch. Wow, this dick. Uh, you guys are a bunch of 
fucking losers. <laughs> the view, dude. Only one way to measure your success. How many viewers you get on Twitch? That is a good measure. Oh. I have a few questions. How many viewers we go on Twitch? Oh, you guys have one viewer now. Oh. Oh, it's you're... probably you. I think it's you. Get him off. Not Can you get off Twitch? Yeah, on Twitch? Here. Get the fuck off. Get the fuck off. Get him off. Oh, oh you've Twitch been kicking the channel. Okay, boogie. No, 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 no. Damn, you, you can get rid of him. Good you can kick him. One moment. <laughs> Bam. Can you can force viewers? disconnect him. Or you could not. You should. He needs it. He's a hush is what you need to do. Alright, why is there no. anything You're else the you want to kid. do on your turn? It's also my turn. Right? So Rahadin gets stunned while bitch slaps him, and he sees he sees the Tweety Birds, and then um, anything else you want to do, man? Because this motherfucker is stunned as hell. Are you talking to me? Yes. Then I'll use my three attacks. Right. So you use your three attacks and uh, stunned him. Is there anything else you'd like to do, movement wise? Mm. No, I'm good where I am. All right, then we're gonna move over to uh, the pup's turn, and uh, I got him confused. Uh, I guess it's not Smatter, Manwater. You trying to get into Knight's game or what, dude? He what? Left. Oh, he left. All right, yeah, okay. Okay. This guy so, is. <laughs> the dog is going to make an bite attack at one of the dire wolves. The dire wolf that bit him. He fails visibly. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Uh, my turn. On my turn, I'm going to. Uh, let's see. Which way would? Okay, I'm. I'm gonna make my dog move there. That's gonna take a opportunity attack, I assume. No, riding stunned. Oh, you mean against the wolf? Against the wolves, yes. Uh, 13. That does not hit. No. He's fine. A 13 does not hit. All right, he's okay then. He moves right there, no problem. Okay. Then I'm going to cast Conjure Barrage. That is a, let's see, 60 foot cone. So it's going to hit these three direwolves. They all need to make a dex save. I think you're on the other side of the wall now. Where are you at? Right? You guys are fine, Strahd. Right here. This was, how'd you get on this side? I've been on this side. Been the here the time. whole time. How many wolves are caught in this? Uh, three. These three, in particular. They all need to make dex saves. Uh, Fourteen might save. What's this, dear wolves, dear wolves? Uh, the save DC is 17. It might have a plus three. This guy's a dire wolf. What is this, con? Dex. Dex, you already said that. Plus two, uh, 16. Just misses it. So one saves. One saves. So that's three. Have these wolves taken any damage, or is this the first damage they've taken? It's hmm. the first damage I've got for them. So that's uh, 13 slashing damage to the two that didn't save and half damage to the one who did. Be six. All right, I got it. I don't suppose my dog will be classified as a creature with it. Isn't he a pup? I'm pretty sure it's uh, he's, he's a... a robot dog. He's a construct, technically. Ah, I see. Probably nah, not a creature. Is this dire wolf touching him? 
Uh, they'd probably be able to occupy the same square. They'd probably be able to oh. get pretty close with that. It's a big, nice room. It's a fancy library and a castle. Okay. Well, then that is my turn. All right, let's roll up some wolf attacks here. Wait. Yeah, never mind. Yes, it is. That is. That's it. All right. Does a 17 hit you? Why? 17? 17. No. All right, and then we'll say two are attacking you, the Iron Defender, and then one of the pup uh, does a 22 hit the Iron Defender. Yes. Does an 18 oh. hit the pup? Okay, the pup is the Iron Defender. Are you talking about me when you state Iron Defender? I'm sorry, I got it mixed up. Um, okay, we'll say two yeah. on the Iron Defender, as stated. Uh, the bullets both hit, and then the last one will be on A. Uh, what is the last one for? The last one would be 18. No, it does not. All right, so I got and then, tactics. I'll re-roll the four that missed. Yeah. Why does a 22 hit? Yeah. All right, one of the wolves got you, and then on the Iron Defender does a 21 hit. Yes, the Iron Defender's AC is only 15. All right, so that would be... Oh, wait, I was re-rolling the one on uh, A there. I'm sorry. So one oh, on, on me? A, two on the Iron Defender, and then one on Y. Okay, so you rolled for Y... Uh, the Iron Defender, I'm assuming both were above a 15. Uh, looks like we got a uh, 22, a 24 uh, on the Iron Defender rolls. Yes, those both hit my dog, the Iron Defender. I'm sorry, Iron Bob. It's fine, he has a lot of health. Uh, roll for damage on those, and then what did the one rolling against me get? So why you're going to take eight points of damage, please? And then it's going to be ten on the Iron Pup. Another nine on the Iron Pup. And then the one coming in for A is going to be twelve damage. Wolves are vicious, and then Raha Dean's turn at the end here. Is he shaking off the stun? This will be a second turn stunned, if I'm not mistaken.
Wolves, or is he going to continue to assault Rahadeen? He's going to continue to slash at Rahadeen. Are you sure? Hold on. I'm... Uh... I mean, do you don't one. have to. I mean, he's he's looking really hard. It's just terrible. You know, you don't wait. Really feeling like a cold-blooded murderer today. You're just going to execute I'll do this one poor flash man. At Vahadin and one at a wolf. So Vahadin is going to be hit with that one, which is 30 to hit. Wow. Uh, 13 slashing damage. And then the wolf is going to be hit with a 15 to hit. 15 which hits I the do wolf. Not believe. Okay. And that is going to be 11 slashing damage. AC of 14 wolf. on the. Uh, okay. AC of 14 on the dire the wolf. The closest there. wolf would then take 11 slashing damage. Barely still alive, that wolf. Just on his tippy toes, uh, on his paws. <laughs> But you uh, look at Rod Hadin, and uh, you can tell oh. him stunned. You're going to be able to do a lethal strike. How do you want to kill him? Okay. Well, then I'm also... I'll do that next. So I'm going to fling my sword down. I'm going to slay, slice clean through his neck. The clean yeah. decapitation. Yeah, and his head rolls off in a somersault, and a Quentin Tarantino amount of blood just starts shooting up like a geyser out of his chest. Okay. And then the wolf is going to take a extra uh, 2d6 force damage. Yeah, and that's going to pop his eardrums and is uh, going to fall to the ground, uh, blood coming out of his head. Okay, and then I'm going to be healed by 2d6 hit points. Nice. Yeah. Right, and the rest of the wolves are like <laughs> They are going to start running out of there How oh, dare they Why? Um, Those cowards Do you want to make an opportunity attack on one of these wolves as uh, they they run out of here seeing one of their brethren and their <laughs> boss guy cut sure. down uh, Whatever one bit me, I'll stop him Alright, go ahead and roll an opportunity attack on him No. Oh, oh, yeah, 28 hits. Is it still alive? After fucking 24 points of damage? <laughs> no, so, uh, uh yeah, you... as it runs by, it thinks it's about to get away. It can taste freedom, and then how do you want to kill it? Yeah. Stab in the back. Yeah, you stab it right through the back and kind of pin it to the ground for a second. It keeps trying to run in place for a moment before dying. Do I get an opportunity attack as well or no? Unfortunately, the only uh, wolf around you, you're killed. Oh. Is the one on my Iron Defender dead? Yeah, that's toast. Okay. Yeah, and you guys stand in the room, just um, getting uh, more bloody as uh, Rahadin's buddy just continues to spill. And, uh, how is there well, much blood in that one guy? Weird. He is a vampire. Um, I'm going to have my dog take an action to heal itself. By 2d8. Plus. It's going to heal itself 14 hit points. All right. Okay. So I'm assuming we do not see Strahd. You no longer hear any sounds coming from the uh, room behind you, and you do not see Strahd. <laughs> That's an issue. No, come on, he's a gracious host. I don't know why there's all this prejudice against him, but frankly, he's treated me with nothing but respect, and I have I just love a guy. Um, can I have my dog roll uh You said there was vampire tracks? Vampire Would a tracks. Where? Perception? 
Would you, would a passive perception of 18 be able to see where he went? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, that's damn high. Yeah, that's my talk. With a perception of 18, you will have seen Rod in close the doors and have caught a glimpse uh, from inside the master's bedroom of Strahd leaping out of his bed, half undressed, and uh, running up to uh, Adrian. Okay. So can we enter the bedroom now? Since we <laughs> decapitated him. <laughs> well, there's no one holding the door shut. So, sure. So I the door is closed still. Sh- the, the door got shut, though. About that door. Is it is it unlocked? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? I don't remember you walk up and try and open the door. But that's... I'll, mate, I'll try and mage hand the door open. Ah. Moves mage hand, turn the knob. All right. Yeah, the knob uh, jiggles a little bit. Does the... Uh... Um, so what's it the strength on the mage hand? Uh, I can only exert 10 pounds of force. Yeah, it's just a uh, door doesn't budge too much. Okay. Um, I will then shoulder ram the door. <laughs> oh, snap. A melee attack or a strength roll? Mm, you're trying to open the door. You're trying to, like, turn the knob as you smash into it. No, I'm just trying to smash through the door. Oh, okay. So that would be an attack roll. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll and uh, attack the door. Uh, I did not calculate my melee attack. Or would that be uh, strength plus proficiency? Again. Correct. Bad DM. Okay. Yes. Strength for the provision. Yes. Okay. Strength plus proficiency. So that's going to be a D20 plus 8. Uh, you know, 13 to hit the door. When you trained running through doorways at high speeds. I did, in fact, train with this. Is that 13 you? Hmm. Is that 13? Yes, the 13 is, in fact, me. Unfortunately, you door. slam right into the door and bounce off of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do like a involuntary okay. squat. Get 90 degrees as you come back, ricochet out from the door. Bounce off of it. Why? Uh, what are you doing as you watch your friend here just try and fail at opening this door? Wouldn't it, wouldn't uh-huh. it be nice if you guys had a strong, like, yoked half-orc that was just ripped? Oh, well. Nah, because that orc has been running us into fights nonstop. Sure, yeah, yeah. He, he does do that. <laughs> I'll just sling my staff and I, want I, I just got unlucky. Give me an attack roll on the door. Adrian, we're coming! We're coming, Adrian! Look at door! probably fine yes negotiation words always work better than violence i say if you have to resort to violence then you've already failed yes violence is the question but the answer is yes (laughs) but um let's see we're out of the initiative order um I gotta want Rahadin's body to like rise up to its feet uh, and start start doing the can can or whatever. Is Monk? Are you going to vol? Why? Why no. are you going to vol to attack <laughs> no. the door? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Then I'll attack it again. Yeah, beat that door. Don't even bother trying to open the door. Beat it up. Yeah. I will. I'm gonna get my staff. Just watching this happen. So you are not attacking the door, correct? Why? Uh, with my mind, you know, mentally. He's insulting Physically. the door. Like, door, I was over at your mama, and I, I cut her down, and I turned her into a bench. What do you think about that, door? Uh, no, 
I didn't think about that. I'm just sitting here, waiting, watching the beat beat at the door. Okay. Well, fine. You're gonna watch me beat up a door. I will mm. attack it with my long sword. Well, I'm actually watching you attempt to beat up a door. Attempt, you say? Yeah. You have sure. yet to do any this damage time to the I door. Will... This time, I will punch the door. Yo, yo, door, I went over to your mama saplings tree and I stomped on all the pine cones there. I killed so many of your brothers and sisters. 20 to hit the door. door. I am punching the door with a 20 to hit. That hits the door. Yeah. <laughs> so you punch the door. Yes, the door. Do I break the door? You, you hurt the door. You do damage to said door. Go ahead, roll damage. I don't know what damage I'm supposed to roll. Unarmed. Punch damage. Unarmed strike. Oh. Isn't <laughs> that true. just strength mod? Yeah. Okay, then I do four damage to the door. I thought it was a D4 plus strength mod, but okay. Nah, okay. D4 so, is mod. Do... Yeah, that's if you're special. Yeah. So four damage to the door. A single splinter um, uh, flakes off the door. Okay, that I've had enough. I'm just going to slice it with my sword. All mm. right, give me a slice. Uh, roll. Why is gonna the door? Twenty eight. Like wave his flaming sword 17 around. Seventeen flashing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we're making some headway. Yeah, you see, so you uh, do a good. Um, you make Jack Nicholson proud. You can do a good shining impression and uh, bust through the door with an axe. Okay. 15, 16. What do I see on the other side of the door? Uh, you see a woman in bed. Oh. Is there a Strahd? Or the other one? You continue to look around the room and she, the woman in bed, like takes the covers down from over her head and sees you making eye contact like a hole, like an eye through the hole in the wall door. And she mm. screams, she like gives out a shriek, <laughs> puts the covers back over her head. Okay. I, can I not fit through this hole in the door? No, just got the axe head really through the door. Still a little too okay. small. Monk, would you like to use your fire sword to attack the wooden door? <laughs> uh, this is expensive. I don't, uh, do this fighting I can not fix harder. it. You know what he had to do to get that thing? A lot. What? <laughs> I, I can fix it. I'm a magic person. Mm, I don't trust you. I, I met you, what, two hours ago? Yeah, that's fair. I made this weapon and these gauntlets. That, so. that's, 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 that's pretty cool. I, I don't know for a fact that you made those. Uh, did you try the doorknob? Yes, it's locked. Is it? Yes, oh. it is locked. Wait, Wookie said it was locked? Yes, he said it was locked. He's right, it's locked. Well, I thought you... I thought that's what you were implying. Okay, since you won't use the... <laughs> <laughs> Fire sword against the wooden door. You want to know what's really crazy? What? Uh, I don't. Defender is your name in game. You know what's yes. really crazy? I'm just going to uh, like tap a button on the side of the flaming sword and turn it into a battle axe. Fun. Right. The... Shing, cool. sparkle, sparkle. Oh yeah. Fine, if you won't do anything, uh, would heat metal light a door on fire? I'm assuming yes. Yeah, a little bit. Is it metal? Okay. Yeah, sure, I'll light something on the door on fire with heat metal. Alright, it catches. It takes a few seconds. It's like a really solid oak. It's thick hardwood, but it does catch after a moment. And, uh, yeah, just continues smoking. The room, like, fills up with smoke a little bit. Uh, the fireplace, uh, like, goes down to the fireplace level, and all the books in the library start getting a little sooty, and you feel somewhat guilty. But 
after a uh, yeah. couple minutes here, the door has burned away enough for you to kick it through and make your way into the master bedroom. Hell of a door, this door. Good. Since somebody wouldn't use the fire sword. Since somebody they were strong enough, they wouldn't eat my fire sword. Good thing oh, there was no <laughs> rush. I mean, it's, you know, no, no problems. <laughs> nope. Is that a competition? Oh, okay. So there was a lady in this room, correct? So you guys move your make your way into this room of my Yeah. yeah. Alright, and as you enter you see a lovely room. Why'd you just throw me off the castle? It's the only way I'm gonna be able to defeat your a brilliantly uh, created character. I gotta just uh, rock, rock falls and rolls you off the side of the castle. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't take falling damage. I, no, I probably have feather falling here somewhere. Well, yeah, I lands have on top of you. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, what, where is this room? Okay. 45. I'm going to turn to him. Why? So, do you calm her down or something I don't do well with people humans uh, and amid the humans you said uh yeah I don't do well with them um, as you have noticed I am a, I am a robot I don't exactly understand them um, I'm, I'm, I'm an elf humans are really you know the larger species yeah yeah, but you're you're closer to them than I am. Mm, mm, as close as you are, you know, to like a really unevolved gorilla. You know, Damn. technically. Damn, it's a low opinion of humans out here. I mean, to be fair. I mean, they are lesser beings. It, it's fair. Oh, you damn! Know, not you too, are, robot man. I'm. I mean, I'm just saying, humans made robots. Elves are defend. Defend. Uh. Descend it from spirits. How do you know that a human made me? Well, I Could've assume been made by an orc or a dwarf. I don't know. Gnome. Which would still make you closer to a human than me. Not really. Because you're. I mean, okay, saying, so very spiritual. Elves do in fact have the emotions per se. I robots are physically incapable of feeling said things. I don't exactly have a soul, which you do, I assume. Yeah, but their soul is humans. <sighs> How is this? I'm assuming the lady reacting to us having this conversation. Uh, at this point, she's kind of stood up in bed, uh, still covers like half over her, and uh, she is looking at you with a half grin on her face, and she is quite seductive. One of her slippers is like falling off, uh, one of like the straps on her nightgown is hanging around her shoulder. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't care. Invitingly! More like than that, Wookie gets creepy. <laughs> Well, do you know where Strahd went? I'm gonna ask the lady. Uh, the lady, lying amid the velvet and satin sheets, uh, in the bed with clothes, is a young woman in her nightgown, and on her dainty slow. Oh, yeah, you guys know that. Give um, me just one sec. She's going to point at the wall behind her, and as you guys glance around to the back of this beautifully carved ba bed, Bed posts? What are those things called that surround like the bed that go up and bed post? I feel like they have a fancier name. I'm too stupid to know anyway. Poor people don't know high class thing like bed posts. Well, you guys do see that there is a large slab that hangs slightly ajar, denoting a secret passage behind the bed. I'll uh, gesture for Defender to take the lead. Gonna head down the secret passage? Yeah, if he decides to. Uh, 
Looks like she couldn't make it. Um. Yeah, yeah, I know she um she was busy, so um I gave her the game off. I let her know that it's okay that uh you know this one time I wasn't gonna fire her, but I expect her here on Monday. Hmm. On time. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm just checking in. Let's know. Or I'll no. take her health care away. No, she did check in though. She's fine. Uh, so, sorry about that. You're good. Just had to take care of something really quick. Okay. So how does what does the lady say when I ask her where Strahd is? She's kind of she's just grinning just... and she's pointing down a hallway, a secret passageway behind the bed. Okay. Well, thank you. Would you like me to leave my companion here to watch over you? I'm going to gesture to my dog. Hello? You there? there you go. Okay. Uh, she looks down at the dog and she her eyes go like wide. Uh, she's never seen a dog quite like this one before. Uh, she gets like off the bed and starts like reaching down and kind of like picks her hands back up. Um, is it okay if I pet him? He's so shiny. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh, wow, oh. he's so cool. And she like picks up a rag and starts to like polish different parts of him. Is that okay. the accent you're going with? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave my com my defender here to watch over her. I'll give him commands to keep her safe, and then I will go to the secret passageway behind the bed. Oh, well, you're so kind of you. Thanks so much, honey. Okay. Okay, come on, why? I'm assuming this is unlocked. Come on back now, you here. Yeah, so this is the secret passageway she was uh, indicating here. Okay. I will go to, into the passageway. Do I see Strahd? You emerge into a dark alcove lying the walls of this long hall. You emerge into a hall in which dark alcoves line the wall. Heh, <laughs> nailed it. The ceiling has fallen here, leaving... Wait, wait a minute. That's not... Yeah, it is. I don't see where the ceiling's fallen. Hmm. Um, ah, I see. So there's rubble all across the floor, and overhead you look up, and the roof has completely collapsed in, letting rain uh, come down and get you soaking wet. Overhead, uh, you see lightning and dark clouds uh, sporadically shine uh, bright white as the lightning flashes. <laughs> you look up, and you see faces in the clouds. Each one looks about life-sized human face. <laughs> Interesting. And then in the alcoves, you see... Also, that these people, these statues, they look a little scared. Okay, I'm going to attempt to talk to one of them. I'm going to ask you what's going on. The statues? Yes, the statues. Well, um... We were adventurers like you, and then Strahd decided to uh, petrify us and put us in this hallway, so now we're here. Fun. Did you happen to see where he went? He um, petrifies over. It's clear that they only have so much movement that they can work up every hundred years or so, and looks like he just spent it, but... He does, like, uh, look over to uh, his right twice. Okay. Thank you. His eyes move I'm up and down. Yeah. I'm going to 
hold an action to attack if I see Strahd or a uh, hostile entity and I'm going to go down that hallway. Go to the right. Why are you following? I'm just think about, you know, normal five feet behind him. Yeah, no problem. And you guys uh, walk down the hallway. Why are you following five foot behind? And as you do so, the statues look at you longingly. It's almost like you can feel their want and their jealousy. You moving around so freely and bodies not petrified and in this hallway. Yeah, I can help you. You later. Okay, do I see Strahd as I go off to the right? You guys emerge into... Uh, out of the hallway with all the statues uh, and you get out of the rain. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Or if I decide to die a few times. What do You're I good. see? I'm still flipping around. Okay. And now I crashed on my computer as well. Nailed right. it! <laughs> I'm gonna send you a um I'm gonna send you a iPhone from two thousand eight. That'll probably work better. You guys emerge. Most likely. Well, right now it's the Wi Fi, surprisingly. And you see a massive stairway rising to a, uh, a landing about 20 feet wide by 40 feet. Okay. Uh, is there anything in this hallway? All right, opening. One second. One second. Okay. Now. So you come to this hallway and you see about five, ten feet in front of you, a massive hole descending down into the ground and rising up into the castle above you. This huh. still, uh, spiral staircase circles around, and it gives you a, a pretty immense scale of this castle. This is quite the uh, this is quite the fancy staircase. Only the only these fancy rich people got seeing nice things like these. Stairs. And as you kind of recover from the vertigo, uh, stepping back and you're like, oh shit, I didn't want to fall down there. Uh, you notice on the floor is a beautiful mosaic and it adds a touch of color to an otherwise dark, cold, and empty tower that rises above you. The spiral, sty the spiral staircase rises slowly into the darkness, hugging the outer wall. And in the center of the room, another set of stairs lead downward. Well. And as you the statue's your... eyes went up and down, correct? Uh, correct. In the affirmation of your question, like, uh... Okay. Yeah, and you step into this uh, stairwell, and you're immediately you hear some crunching, and you look down, and you see like these red crystals, like almost red glass has been shattered. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Um, I don't suppose could I detect Strahd with detect magic?
If he's not invisible, he could. You can roll detect magic. Well, I think you just cast detect magic, right? Yes. yes, would I be able to detect God with it? Mm. If he's not invisible. It, like, uh, you need, the person needs to be visible, so if, like, an imp was there, invisible, you couldn't see it. But if he's visible and just hiding, then you should be able to. What's the range on detect magic? Um, give me one second. My Wi-Fi hasn't decided to come back up. Detect magic. Detect magic has a range of 30 feet. By himself. No, it's a coast is clear. I'm sure this castle actually doesn't have any necrotic or undead life forms in this 30 feet sphere of you. Okay. I'm going to go down the stairs then. noise of rain kind of fades as you leave the open air area hallway and head down. Okay. So what do I find if I head down the staircase? Map 8. What the fuck is that? I don't even have a tab on Map 8. Yeah, you guys make a pretty good time down the stairs, and it is a lovely descent down the spiral staircase. Someday, you aspire to have your own set of fancy stairs. Okay. Uh, do we see Strahd? No, no Strahd down here. Thank God. Oh, boy, what a scary okay. fellow that guy is. Uh, you do uh, notice uh, above you, with your passive perception of 18, a uh, soft Pulsing oh, red that's light. my dog. That's not me. That's my dog. Hmm? Burr? Yeah. The, and, and the dog's not with us currently, so... Uh, Monk, that, why? What is your passive perception? Drag that mic through your tits, why don't you? Eighteen. What are you rolling for? Why are you rolling? Oh, perception check? No, that's not. Oh, that's your passive uh, perception at 18. Yeah, with that, you just also notice the soft, pulsing red light coming from above you. This is probably a pretty good time to take a break. Let's take a fiver and then uh, come back and we'll uh, see if we can find this darn vampire. Boy, this guy, this vampire sure is rascally. Yeah, well, let me tell you. Thanks.
hate it. Don't you hate it when these vampires run off? Can't find them. Disappear vampires. Hello? Hey, bud, we're taking a five-minute uh, five break, and then we're all come back. Okay, good. Thanks. Sorry, I had to do something. Bye. You're good, man. I uh, good. I fixed my Wi-Fi. What's going on? Did you pause the stream? I should. I should figure out how to pause streams and edit audio, but some things, you know, there are some mysteries like does God exist? What is entropy? And why are we spiraling towards it? And, you know, you don't want to think about those things too hard. I opened up the call of game. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I was gonna ask you a few questions, but I I, I thought against it. Actually, no. I voted what, for Alex Jones. You used to stream. I voted for Alex Jones. I don't Jones even know who president. that is. I don't know who that is. He would have made an excellent president, and frankly, if you don't. Thanks. So, look, I just want to tell you the truth about uh, isn't America. Isn't my dog with the lady? Oh, we went down a floor. Right. Yeah. Is my dog about, saying? Have you heard about QAnon? Uh, no. There at this flat. No, you imbecile. I'm the Earth is obviously a Velociraptor. 
I'm a pilot, and I can confirm we all live on a Velociraptor. Yes. Everybody knows that. Well, no, everybody knows it deep down, like on a subconscious level. Yeah. We've been brainwashed by the Russian Mafia to think that the Earth is round. I wanted to scream the Jews at the top of my lungs right there, but I, I did not. I'm growing. <laughs> would, would you want to scream? The Jews! Brainwashed! <laughs> Okay. No. Bad. Bad. Look, I'm out here in Hollywood, and I can tell you that... Look, I just know how things really are. Yeah. Hollywood is the epicenter of existence. Oh, uh, Hollywood. <laughs> what, what service do you use to stream... We're on Twitch now. No, as in what service on your computer? I know you're streaming to Twitch, but what do you OBS. use on your OBS? Yeah. Ooh, right in the mic. I'm sorry. Yeah, OBS. OBS. Okay, OBS Live or just OBS? What's OBS Live? On. Wait, did you ask what is OBS? What's OBS Live? Or yes, OBS Live. I asked what is OBS Live. So to be... it's a it's a version of OBS that's meant for living. That's meant for live streaming. I didn't say we have zero viewers, as it should be, and always <laughs> will be, hopefully. What you don't want to stream? Why are you streaming if you know that you could see your viewers? <laughs> Why are you streaming if you want to get zero viewers? I don't understand. Just don't stream it. Then. If you have to ask. Yes. Yes, I do. Why are you streaming no, if you no, hope no, to get zero man. viewers? Come on, dude. Use your brain. Think, damn it's not you. Like Come you're on, getting son. Money? No, it's not like no, you're getting money from no. it. Nobody watches you. That's I not how you know. get money. That's all a yeah, scam. People have to donate. But what? How? How do Mr. you make God, money? Why? Why up. are you doing this? Mr. God, wake up. We're all artificial intelligence programs running in a, in a computer. You're the only real person. Wake up, Mr. God. This is just training for you. Oh, it's all a bunch of fake uh, nonsense. Yes, of course. Asking ridiculous questions. Like, oh, we don't have any viewers. You're the only one on this planet that's real, dude. God damn it, we're a bunch of NPCs. We just need you to wake up already. <laughs> Am I causing 2020? Is it all my fault? It's just a standard training module to get you up to a level of self-awareness and intelligence that you'll be ready for the real universe. You back, um, you back, uh, why? No, he is not. Damn. I believe it has been more than five minutes, I think. Hey, stop. I don't like all this bad mouth that you're doing on my players here. Why is actually pretty good about um, being on time. Really? Hey, yeah, that's a lot. Of, that's pretty <laughs> insinuating tone you're using, there, sir. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? Well, I don't appreciate that tone either, sir. I rather feel you're being rather insinuous, insinuating that he is not, in fact... Respectful of being on dime or respecting five minute breaks. Is he? Well, you might be technically correct, the best type of correct, but I will continue to defend him. Mm, but but why? Well, I what mean, do you get out of defending him? Oh well, that's a more specific question. 
I was uh, <laughs> gonna explain why it's like a, a monk and as a person and an overall force of nature because he is handsome. Oh, I don't want to know about those things. That's fair. That's fair. So, um, to defend why he's being late, uh, that is harder to defend. That's what I thought. That is more difficult to be able to logically prove. Um, oh, here, here's my best attempt. He's taking a shit. Okay. And he couldn't tell you that he is? I don't want to know that. <laughs> that I was prefer he didn't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. I have friends that is send me pictures of like one unbroken log that snakes around the bowl a couple times. And I'm like, I didn't need to know that. You didn't have to send that to me. It is impressive. But you didn't yeah, need to send yeah. that to me. Yep. That's happened to me. The getting sent pictures part. That's and I'm thinking to point. myself, how'd you get that girth out? You, you, uh, you person, you? Hmm. It's quite a big, uh... Yeah, Y is back. Finally. <laughs> wow, how dare you disrespect your players like that? Whoa, you're turning this back on me See, now? How did this happen? He's been disrespecting you this entire time, Why? I've been sticking up for you. <laughs> oh, no, this is terrible, because he's actually going to think that's true. Yeah, I can... I can I... Wookie's not the best person. Yeah, like, like, I feel like he's going to be like, yeah, you know, actually, that does sound like Wookiee. <laughs> shit. It does. I don't... You consider... Uh... You shouldn't blame him for saying something that is so believable. You should think, why does he instantly believe that I would talk shit about him? Yeah, that's the real question here. Well, I'm going to have to stop talking shit behind all your backs, because now it's just uh, putting me on notice. Wait, you talk shit behind my back? So returning to you. the table, uh, so you guys are in oh, this Wait, hole. hold on. <laughs> and you continue downward, and you look out, and there is a hallway branching out on this floor of the spiral staircase as you go downward. Would you like to continue down the spiral staircase or explore the spooky dark hallway? Hmm. Or, hear me out, what if I make a nuke and I just nuke Strahd? I love this idea. Let's get to work. Okay. And so, then there's like a train uh, montage. Let's make some napalm. Okay, where's the styrofoam? And I'm on out to get the star before my best on the Okay, uh. Okay. Are we making napalm here? Because if so, I'm gonna need you to get me some styrofoam, some gasoline, some motor oil. You look around. You don't see any of those things, Andy. Uh. Damn it. Okay. Wanna free well, the I people? No... Yeah, I guess no napalm this time. Damn it, communism wow. wins again. You say communism? Are you implying that you support communism? <laughs> My friend, everyone knows there's only one way to fight communism with napalm. Well, yes, obviously. If you don't Can support you napalm, but nap don't support freedom. Or right, what are you guys doing? I don't know. Uh, finding Strahd, I'm still, I want to hold my action, still. So, if I see Strahd, I want to take an action. Alright, so okay. if you want to see Strahd, you take an action to see Strahd, understood. Oh yeah, I want to see Strahd, I'm going to take an action to see Strahd. Yeah, uh, no Strahd in sight. You look around, you look down the hallway, he's not down there. And you look down the stairs, he's down, he doesn't look like he's down there either. I passed the text, uh, undead beings. What's the range on that? Right. 200. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. 
You get a ping yeah. about. It's not a. You get a ping about 150 feet above you. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <That's fun. laughs> yeah. Well, uh, do you make me aware of this? And then you get a. Can couple... you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. I can hear you. you... I was trying to say before that before Wookie said anything, I said it's not a spell. What is it? Fun. I, I you said okay, you get a ping. I said it's not a spell. It's not a spell. Then you... Also, right. monk and and. Okay, do you make me aware of where this creature thing is? I don't know where it is. You it's not don't. You just know it's somewhere. Again, this is this is not a spell. Then what is it? It was a joke. Oh. Well, that's yeah. not a well. I wonder what his thought is. <laughs> you know, I have a strange feeling he's exactly a hundred and fifty feet above us. God damn it! <laughs> No, I guess we will keep going down the staircase. No, oh, no, this is fuck bullshit. I, just, I thought it'd be very clearly understood that as a monk, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. And then you kept, you started talking. Yeah, so I don't know what monk things do. Then I spell that. It all needs to be understood. So I, I try to make it clear. Monks have innate, innate abilities. Not spells or detect undead. That's not a spell. It's like, uh, complicated, I think. It, it's like a cleric paladin thing. I don't know. I don't know if you multi-classed into paladin or cleric. All right. Got to shove this in narratively. Uh, why you uh, tap uh, the steel defender on the shoulder. Uh, and he, he like turns around. He's like, hey, check this out. I could detect undead. And you see like the shimmering the sparkles around him. The, huh? the, okay. The defender <laughs> is the dog. He's not the defender. His name is. I like the, the dog better. I'm like defender. Token. The dog is a steel defender. Right. And also the dog is iron with defender. Us. The dog is. Well, you said everybody else for confusion. Well, that's be. Yeah, I should probably change my name. That That is kind of confusing. There's defender and then there's steel defender. One of them's the dog. One of them's the six foot tall wolf forged. All right. You guys see. Um... Why has like all these beautiful shimmering sparkles around him and then you like focus a little bit and you see that these are actually raining glass crystal glass crystals from above you and you look up and you see Strahd being chased by Adrian up the spiral staircase wait who, who's that Adrian is the half orc barbarian um the giant pink thing on the map, that's Adrian. Oh, that person. Okay. So, well, I mean, she's probably taking care of it. I say we take a nap. She can handle Strahd, no problem. We'll uh, go ahead and rest up here while she... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll yeah. take a short rest. We'll no take problem. a short rest. We'll let her take care of it. <laughs> she was so desperate to fight him. Now she needs to... Feel the consequences of our actions. It needs to happen off screen and is not my problem. To be fair, yep. we basically stole the track. So. Yeah. I mean, really. She asked for the fight. She can deal with the consequences of it. That's what I'm saying. You make your bed, sleep in it. Exactly. Speaking of beds, uh, <laughs> I say we take a short rest, let this whole situation uh, do sort itself out, and then we can fight Strahd. Sound yeah. good? Amiable Goldbull, do you why? No, they're 150 feet away, there's not much I can do. I'll start running towards them. Alright, you start charging Fine. up the staircase. I guess we can also, I can also run towards him. I'll give my dog a command to join us as well. 
All right. Each of you give me an athletics check. All right. Your rookies, uh, give me a dex check if you'd like to see how fast you guys can make it up these stairs. Uh, ath athletics? Athletics, please. I'll accept an acrobatics check. <laughs> a six. <laughs> um, can my dog give me the health action? <laughs> Sure. Yeah, he's he's you struggling. You're twisting an ankle. The dog got an 18, so yes, I'm assuming he could give me the health action. Gives you like the nuzzle up. Yeah. Like, hey, do better. <laughs> and at that, I get a nine. It it's better. It is better. It's not it's not better enough. That's a, that's kind of skinny map. No, nope, I did not need to enable you. I like my map skinny like I like my women. Damn it, fuck that up. <laughs> I'm like Keith Ranieri. I like my women on the verge of starvation. What? It's uh, the Nexium cult leader. You like your map like your map like you like your woman malnourished? It's kind of weird. Nailed it. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Okay, so... Why is there a massive heart above us? So you get up to that section of the tower, and you're running up there, and uh, the vampire and Adrian emerge onto this balcony. What? And you guys step over this shattered glass, which used to be this beautiful heart is now just a pile of red glass. I might take a few shorts later, of course. It pulses faintly as you put it in your pockets, glowing a little bit of red light. Ooh, fun. Didn't you guys detect magic? No. How long does that? How long does detect magic last? I didn't cast it, but I guess, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, ten minutes. Yeah, you cast it to find Strahd early, remember? But yeah. he was he was in 30 feet. Yeah, and you guys see Adrian bearing down on Strahd, walking him down. The poor man, shirtless and skinny jeans, on his knees, begging for his life. Well, see, I told you it wasn't necessary. So, what does this glass, what does this glass shard show up as through detect magic? Anything interesting? Can we kill? I want to uh, help kill Strahd. You want to yeah, help sure. kill Strahd? I mean, I guess Adrian already did it, so I'm going to take a look at this heart thing. Can I roll Arcana on the heart? Sure, go ahead and roll uh, Arcana. Yeah. Is it kill Strahd, or is he still protect the life? I uh, and I hit the hell. What was your question there, why? Did Adrian kill Strahd, or is he still begging for his life? Uh, he's on his knees begging for his life. He looks hurt, but he doesn't seem like he's at the end of his rope. He's not at the fi finishing blow stages, but he's hurt. He's torn up, as you, uh, as an encounter with Adrian would do. Yeah, see, she's got it. It's fine. Weapons yeah, baby, she's got it. Never mind, he's getting stabbed. <laughs> yeah, stab looks pretty fun. Uh, 
Uh, with an arcana check of 10, uh, you take up the glass and you see that... I'm not even sure what school of magic it would be, but you can tell that um, this is some dark necromancy and that probably has something to do with transferring uh, hit point damage to this thingy instead of taking it himself. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit picking up the rest of the shards. All right, yeah, you take out a pouch and start shoveling them in. Go ahead and write in your inventory. I can give you about a pound of heart crystal dust. But yeah, Straw's just going to keep begging for his life. Please, I'll teach you the secrets of science, great and powerful magics. Let me live, and I shall give you the keys to unlock untold knowledge and power. Well, let's... I think we should hear him out. Untold knowledge and power sounds pretty cool. You will be the coolest kids in school. You will be the popular crowd. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you say, Why I say we should listen to him. All the cheerleaders will want to fuck you. All the hot nerds will... Blah, blah, blah. You can get a little less graphic there, Strahd. The You're starting to turn me away from wanting to listen to you. All right, I think okay, we'll go well. ahead and do a round of combat on Strahd. Um, get a sneak attack in here for uh, Y as he's just lunging in with the with the long sword, long sword to the to the old heart there. Classic. Classic, Classic long sword to the heart. You love nope. to see it. I'm cutting his legs off. <laughs> oh. You ain't running, Classic bitch. Classic long. I used to be a venture like you until I took a long sword to the kneecaps. Cut my kneecaps right off, and now I don't got no kneecaps. Eh, who needs kneecaps? Who needs kneecaps? Not me. Not me, man. Kneecaps are for the weak bunch of knee bending cowards. Of course. Okay, so it does. Do those attacks hit? Uh, the 19 would hit for 17. Okay. Well, I guess we are fighting Strahd. I suppose. Is that right, Why? Do you want to fight Strahd? We were already fighting. Yeah, well, he did offer us untold knowledge and power. Yeah, that... Untold knowledge and power sounds pretty neat. He's not unreasonable for an evil immortal vampire. Yeah. And hey, we can always get the untold knowledge and power, then kill him after. <laughs> Wait, was... It's a classic. Like, oh yeah, I won't kill you if you give me this. And then once you get the thing, then you kill them. You get two things. You kill I'll, them, and you get a thing. You keep trying to bargain. The problem with his legs are gone. Okay. So it's he gonna, can't run away. It's going to be tough to negotiate from a spot where, yeah, I got no legs. Yeah. Yeah. I got no legs. I assume you're ending the train. Uh, 